a lot of you have 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 like reached out and like talked about how you feel so sensitive and the darkness of the world is sometimes so overwhelming that you're like I just want to peace out like I want to just commit suicide and also um, the other thing that I've heard a lot recently is uh, people having a very hard time with eating disorders and and multiple of you have reached out and asked like can you speak about this because I also had an eating disorder when I was a teenager and what I'm realizing is a lot of this is us fighting what our mission is here which is like to be these light light bearers like these light workers in the world to bring to raise the vibration because the self-deletion or what we call suicide uh, is us just being like it's too much like I need to get out of the timeline I need to get out of this physical body I just want to go back to home which is spirit because once you like awake and see the bigger picture then you you realize there is no death it's just death is just you're waking actually up of this physical reality dream and you're becoming your higher self, having your life review and then pick and choose different timelines. But it's like self-deletion. You pick the, like from the bigger picture view, you pick the life theme. You can call it life theme, your human design, your corridor, your destiny, why you chose with your free will as your soul, as your higher self, to come here and down the hallway you must like you this is this is what you what you chose and when you self delete and you're back in spirit and you're like oh i'm not done and then you either come back physically in another timeline or in the same timeline and then like oh i don't know how you got out of this alive and actually you didn't you just chose to come back or you continue your life theme from spirit uh, so it's it's like it's not a solution um to self delete at all and in spirit, you're like, oh, poor little me, because what you actually picked in spirit is so nice. You laugh exactly your life theme. This is who you are. This is your highest excitement. This is the vibration of that. That's why the formula following your joy. This is who you are. This is why you came here. This is stepping in your power. So did that make sense or was it too? I feel like that was a little spirity. But yeah. maybe it vibed with some people. Um, yeah, I'm this is how I usually talk. I'm trying to put this into words that people can okay. understand. Maybe that's why you are here. Body. Um, I, I agree with everything Faraday is saying, and also in order to like translate it for people to like bring it into their bodies. Basically, we believe the universal message, which is that our souls are eternal, so we are these huge, beautiful. Sp spiritual creatures choosing to have a very temporary physical experience here so we're like focusing part of our energy into the timeline and, and put it in these physical bodies and before we're born we choose to have this big adventure here on earth and for a lot of us sensitive creatures that are born right now like like us in the timeline right now and all, all of you who are probably finding this message is that you chose to transform a lot of darkness a lot of dark energy into in your timeline into something very beautiful so this could be in your personal life this could be in the collective this could be the impact that you're making in the world it's all it's all helping the collective consciousness and it's okay if sometimes it really feels like too much like where you feel too awake where you're like whoa whoa, whoa i understand everything I feel like my spirit wants to leave my body because all of it is a little overwhelming. I also have this feeling. Honestly, recently is the first time I've ever really understood uh, on like a body level why people would commit suicide because I everything in my life is amazing and perfect and exciting. And also I feel like so awake that... Uh, it's like a really sometimes it feels like a bad psychedelic trip where it just like doesn't end you know and then you're like oh there's no i'm very sober right now there's no ending to this i have to like ground myself and this is why i've made a podcast like how to make sure you stay grounded when you wake up because there's very specific things you can do to ground yourself in your body a lot of times though people want to commit suicide or self-delete because they feel so alone like so alone in the timeline like no one around them is mirroring them and they just start feeling crazy like why am i the only sensitive one why does everyone else seem like they're enjoying themselves why can't i have like a real conversation about things i care about with the people around me everyone is just talking about really dumb stuff 
and this is normal. It's normal to feel this way. And I, I just want, we want to share this with you that we've also felt this and like gone through this and it's okay. Like you're going to be okay. And I invite all of us with that in mind to take a very nice deep breath together. <sighs> and I feel that in order to also work with the idea of like staying in the timeline is to know that very soon especially if you're watching this you are meeting people who are on the same mission as you and this is something of why i've always been such a huge community better builder in my life because i've known if you know my story at all you know that i've gone through so much darkness and been so alone and as a kid to the point where many people have said to me i surprised you didn't kill yourself and for me, all I really cared about was I want to find my community. I want to find my soul family. And now as I found you guys one by one and collected all of you, I realized it doesn't matter how much darkness that we transform. All that matters is that we do it together and that we have each other's back. And this is also why it's really important to when you are these light workers, when you are, you know, transforming this darkness into light, that you also have boundaries and that you also speak up for yourself. Because sometimes the reason why people want to self-delete or commit suicide is because they don't want to add any more karma into the picture. And so they're so worried about doing something negative in their timeline that they become a doormat. They let people walk all over them and they don't know how to like stick up for themselves in a way where it actually feels good in their body to stay in their timeline. And so this is also something I really want to speak up to you is that if it if there's certain things happening in your life, there's certain people that are surrounding you or your job or any anything in your environment that just really doesn't feel good in your body, but you're pushing yourself to stay there because you're like, I could help. I can make an impact even just by my energy. That is not your mission. Your mission is not to stay places where it feels gross in your body. It makes you want to like contemplate suicide. Your mission is to do what feels good in your body. Follow your joy and your passion because no matter where you are in the world, no matter what you're doing, you are already raising the collective consciousness just by being. So <laughs> follow your joy. Find the people that feel good for you. Find the location that feels good for you. And uh, that will only amplify your impact because the more joy that you have, the more you allow this high energy to go through your body that can go out and raise the collective and help everyone around you from an energetic standpoint. Well said, baby. So happy that you translate my soul because I'm so awake that many people just cannot follow and think I'm crazy, which is totally all right. But my excitement is to shift in the new earth, reach the people and resonate and activate. And I know why I'm here, like I'm a symbol and you're here to translate people like me and the universal message. And also be a symbol. And uh, Yeah, exactly. But like you, you're more than that. You are like also this great transmitter. Uh, transmitter, is that a word? Because yeah. um, like my, my little flow earlier like i can see I c like i can so see you know when people are not awake how they're like oh my god this is crazy this is dangerous but but what we're saying like we you started we believe the universal message like no we are in the knowingness Brittany and i we're like in the knowingness like once you know you know like once you're fully awake and yeah the endless level to that you there's an Ne at a level to every dream and it never stops and because it never at every level it f can feel very good in your body because yeah when you wake up then you see this is what it's about that there is no end no beginning and waking up raising your frequency will never stop but it's about how much consciousness can you hold in your body that feels good because i've been there so often especially before i was with Brittany, that i was like too awake i It's like too, con too much consciousness in my body that I couldn't hold in a way that feels good. Like, oh my God, I'm too awake. And what's the point if we're not having fun? What's the point if we're not feeling good? So I want to just finish talking about the suicide thing. It's like, if this is something that you are going through right now where you feel like you are contemplating self-deletion, suicide, 
Just know that you are not alone and that it passes if you allow yourself. And also look at it like when you are in pain, it's because your body and your psyche and your soul is trying to tell you that something needs to shift in your life. Like when I was feeling this very ungroundedness this year, I was like, I even said to Faraday, I was like, we need to get off the island. Like I need to go somewhere that is less conscious because I need to ground this energy, this new level of vibration that I'm on and so we ended up going to Berlin which is very <laughs> grounding and and also the mountains I think the mountains in Austria was like the most grounding nature all of this stuff and and s- listen to my podcast how to stay grounded while you're waking up and just be in nature as much as possible and speak up for yourself in your life of what you need to shift because once you do, everything will feel so much better in your body. And that's why even even last night and this morning, I had realizations between us of things that I was like, oh my God, I thought I needed to be this certain way. And so I wasn't allowing myself to like be in my body because I thought this higher vibration is acting more spiritual in this way. And it's like, no, we're humans. We chose to have a human experience and to be in these physical bodies. So let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it as much as possible and like connect to people who are on your mission and on your soul path, your soul family. That's also super important. But then what do you say to people like Julian who are like enjoying themselves in a destructive way? Again, he's allowed to have his timeline, but I want people to understand what he's doing so that they can make an informed decision. And if people understand what he's doing and they still support it and they want to be his friend, awesome. Like we were saying in the last podcast, I don't know if Julian and Keenum are going to be in our soul family in the end. It feels like it, but they need to do their own realization. And this is also like you and I have gone through moments in our life that we are not necessarily proud of, like, you know, of, of how we were acting in the world. And... And it's like we had ego or whatever we experienced. We've also gone through this, but (laughs) I'm very grateful that I'm not in that anymore because I know what it feels like. It's like you're going, you're like, this is the right thing to do. But, and it feels like there's like this instant gratification of like your ego, but then you feel empty and then you feel alone. And then you're like laying up at night questioning your whole reality of like, what am I doing with my life? For me, that's why I was saying like, after we made the last podcast, I was like, I don't want to speak about them anymore. But then like when everything came out with like Keenum and Elena and how they're like scamming people and I was just like, what are they doing? Like this is not okay. So there was like more things I needed to talk about. But then at the end of the day, like, you know, if they are in our timeline, they're meant to be here on this island, like building the new earth with us. They will be on this island building the new earth with us. Like they will shift into our reality where we actually are interacting with them and like hanging out with them again. If they're not, then they're going to shift out of our reality. And I have so many more exciting people that I'm excited to invest my energy into. So that's how I feel about them. Um, The other thing I want to talk about was people who are having problems with eating disorders. So I I was anorexic when I was in high school. So I was like 15 and 16. And I'll just speak about my story, which is I was so going through so much darkness at home, like abuse and uh, with my dad and my religion, the cult that I was raised in. And I just felt so unsafe in my body that I every time I ate food, I would get a stomach ache and like I had like really bad digestive problems. And so for me, it felt better to just not eat. And I'm so grateful that I had a best friend who I wasn't even aware I was doing this also. This is like a lot of times with eating disorders is it happens on a subconscious level and then you you like don't realize that you're using it as a coping mechanism because there was two things happening. One was I just didn't physically feel good when I ate because my body was under so much stress. And the second thing was I realized now that I thought that if I was like literally didn't take up as like any space, then my dad would stop abusing me and my religion would leave me alone. And so I literally was like trying to make myself disappear, which is like his own form of like suicide and self deletion. And I'm really grateful that I had a best friend who like noticed what was going on and like forced me to eat, like made me eat. And then once she like sat with me and talked with me in like a really loving way and asked me if I was okay, um, I was like, oh, I don't need, I I have support. You know, I don't need to be doing this or like I do care about my body and I want to stay in the timeline. And 
in line with everything we were talking about earlier, I feel like a lot of people, maybe on a subconscious level, they don't realize this, but they they don't feel safe in their body. They don't know how to stay in the timeline and transform the joy, the darkness into positive energy. And so it's like they're not accepting themselves here in their bodies. Like they're literally not accepting their bodies. They're not working with their bodies as like a tool and an aid that can help support them in the timeline. And they are not understanding the mission that they have here, that this is like, f like they're here to raise the vibration of everything around them. And so it's like its own form of like a self deletion of suicide because they're just like destroying their bodies and trying to make themselves like go out of the timeline. Um, and so for those of you that I've responded to, what I've said is like, I totally get it. I understand. And I've been there and it's it's okay and like what you need to understand is like you have to accept your body you have to accept that your soul chose to come into this very beautiful body all of us have beautiful bodies exactly as they came in they're perfect just the way they are and there's also society programming that we have about how we need to look and all these things that's all bullshit you can release those beliefs and realize that those are dumb and then, but from a spiritual energetic level, I feel like a lot of you are just like, I feel so unsafe. There's too much darkness in the world. I feel very overwhelmed and I don't know what to do. And so I think just acknowledging that and letting yourself know that your soul is only having you go through what you can, what you can transform. So anything that's in front of you, you are strong enough to transform that. And to accept your body and use it as an aid that can help you transform this darkness into light. Like I know for me, if I like even now, like my my BMI or whatever, like my I have very low body fat. And so if I don't eat at certain intervals, I get overly sensitive and almost go into this kind of like uh, frozen like comatose state where like I er, noises are too loud my sensitivity overwhelms me basically and I just cannot function in the 3d and so Faraday started putting this thing in his phone like a note in his notes where it's like okay check your vitals like did you eat enough did you get enough sleep like all these things and what we realized is that a lot of times when I was feeling very overwhelmed like I'd be crying I'd be like what is going on in the world I would just be so upset by all the darkness that was happening and he's like when was the last time you ate and then I would realize oh I need to eat something now or maybe I need to eat something that's more grounding like not just fruit <laughs> I need to eat something that's like like something that can stick in my body and help me stay in this 3d reality and when I started doing that, and also when you start eating enough and you're eating in a way that's healthy for your body and you're eating intuitively, not just like, like especially with the German community that you come from, like so many people are like, it's five o'clock, uh, society tells me I have to eat at a certain time, even if I'm not hungry. It's like, fuck all of that. Eat when it feels, when you're actually hungry. And then when you do that and you work with your body, and you're putting like good things in your body, like fruits and vegetables and like really healthy things, then you have the energy to exercise, which gives you even more energy. And then you're using your body in a positive way. You're working with it. You're becoming its friend. And then you can feel like you are strong enough to actually transform this darkness into light and be the light worker that you're meant to be. And that is the biggest impact that you can make. So if you're like, I don't even, I don't even want to worry about myself. Like whatever my eating disorders, I need to go help the world. It's like, no, this is the way that you can help the world the most is by being friends with yourself, being friends with the physical body that you've chosen to come in on. Well said. Thank you. So, I mean, that's it for me. I was just like, I feel like, so activated by everyone who reached out and was saying those things because like the thing with suicide and and eating disorders is something I've personally dealt with and I'm like it's okay like we can do this together like a lot of people wrote and they wrote almost the exact same message and then they said at the end I'm probably the only one who's reaching out to you about this thing I'm sorry if I'm bothering you and I'm like there's so many of you saying the exact I wish I could just put everyone in the same room and be like it's okay like we're all going through this in our own way and we can just do it together like as a community now and let go of any of shame that comes along with it, which is also bullshit. <laughs>